his research findings in 14 international conferences, presented four research papers in 19th International Botanical Congress in the year 2017, and presented 12 research papers in national conferences. Uh, he has deposited six nucleotide sequences in NCBI. He has visited China and Taiwan for research uh, interactions. Uh, so with this, I thank K. S. Rangasamy College of Technology Management and Nature Science Foundation for giving me this opportunity. Uh, so with this, I hand over the session to Dr. S. Baskaran, sir. You are welcome, sir. Yeah, welcome, ma'am. Okay, thank so you, thank, sir. Thanks okay. for your nice introduction. Okay. Uh, I think uh, <clears throat> in China, it's a good afternoon. Maybe in uh, India, it's a uh, good morning. Good morning to everyone. So it's my... Please wait. I can... Sir, any troubleshoot, sir? Can I help you, sir? Yeah, just try sir, that. Is it okay now? Yes, sir. We can see the introduction slide right now. Okay. Yes, sir. First slide. Yeah. Is it okay now? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes. Sorry. Okay. So it's my immense pleasure to present my topic on uh, approaches, devices, and uh, regulations in research of uh, uh, COVID-19. Uh, good morning to all. So uh, first to the introduction. As we know well, the COVID-19 is uh, known as uh, 2019 COVID or uh, SARS-CoV-2 virus, uh, which is belongs to the family of uh, coronavirus. Uh, because moreover, the the protein content is uh, moreover is a similar as like a SARS and a MERS. And uh, we know that uh, the SARS is also jumped from the mainland China to the Hong Kong in 2003 of uh, February. So uh, it's, it was the SARS transmission was also stopped by the quarantines and international cooperation. Um, so basically the, the symptoms, as we know, will the uh, 14 days, two to 14 days after the exposure of the virus, uh, we may have the respiratory disorders, coughing, fever, shortness of a breath, pain and pressure in the chest, confusion and bluish lips and difficulty in breathing. And also they have an unusual pulse and the color and appearance of the person's tongue is also different. And especially in China, the doctors have identified three acupuncture points that may also be useful with the coronavirus. So the, according to the WHO reports, so globally it's affect uh, uh, <clears throat> So many cases were also reported in different countries like uh, Africa, Americas, and uh, Eastern Mediterranean and Europe, Southeast Asia, Western Pacific. But especially in India, uh, the total confirmed cases was uh, 4.1 lakh. And also the new cases is uh, 15,413. Um, and also deaths was uh, 13,254 persons were uh, died. And in China, the total confirmed, the total confirmed uh, cases was uh, 84,997 persons only infected, and new cases were uh, 27 only, mm -hmm. and uh, deaths. So this report was, uh, I think it's uh, between the uh, June 15 to 21. So this is the, the geographical uh, uh, picture and uh, the cases reported in the last seven days. And based on the colors, they have differentiated uh, how many people were in, uh, infected from place to place. So, and in the initial status, and also the 
and what are the steps have been taken in the in the first time in China. Um, as we know, well, this virus is a spread from the Wuhan and it's a Hubei, Hubei province of China. Uh, the local hospitals, actually, they don't know uh, the seriousness of the virus. They thought, I think, uh, it's a, it also the common virus. They have been, so that's why they have been reported to the central government authority. But after they uh, reported and also after getting the information from the local government, immediately the government sent, I think, um, more than 3,000 uh, traditional Chinese medicinal medical practitioners. They have been sent to the Wuhan city. And they also discussed with uh, modern Western medicine doctors and uh, uh, they have taken uh, so many uh, control steps. So, and initially they have uh, introduced uh, uh, so many devices to identify the persons who are in infected. Uh, uh, the first one is the infrared thermometer. So the infrared thermometer is uh, uh, it's a very common and also it's very simple and so many persons and they will be uh, they will stand in the street corner and also the the building entrance and in the public places and in the train or the bus station everywhere wherever you go they will immediately check the the body temperature with the infrared thermometer and second one uh, it's also in a uh, um, train during the train travel also uh, the officer will come and they will also check the uh, body temperature of the passenger in train and another one important device is the simple single temperature reading and another one is a thermal camera so these devices is widely uh, use in uh, in China and not only in China in, in all over the world also they are using this uh, uh, devices to screen the infected persons very easily especially in the in the crowd places so these infrared sensors and the thermal cameras uh, they are uh, mainly utilized to screen the elevated screen the skin temperature as we know, well, the, the, screen, the skin temperature is not the same as like our uh, body core temperature. And normally the skin temperature is uh, uh, lower than the body temperature. But these devices are, uh, use, are very useful for the fast uh, scanning process. And uh, each and every 0.6 seconds, we can read the temperature. And another one is uh, uh, we can also uh, screen the temperature of a large group of people. And a person looks straight at sensor within 5 to 30 centimeter distance. Uh, we can easily identify their uh, uh, the skin temperature. The, it also shows uh, white light when no one in front of the sensor and green or a red light when subject within the range. I mean the 5 to 30 centimeter of distance. And the green means that you are OK. You are allowed to go. And the red means the potential elevated skin temperature. I mean they have a more temperature. So the, the security will stop the person and uh, they will uh, bring them for further analysis and these kits i mean the infrared sensor and the thermal cameras these kits contain the infrared spot infrared spot uh, plus a camera infrared spot plus uh, thermal camera uh, they how they also have a one software like a flir inside i think the flir Thermal camera model detect the highest temperature in in person's face. So uh, uh, even in the in the in the cloud uh, or in the group of peoples, 
who are uh, walking around the around in the public places so the devices will screen their uh, temperature on their face so these cameras i mean that the thermal camera uh, is uh, is very useful in china so they have wherever we go even in the railway station and uh, i mean and the first one is uh, in our uh, university and the second one is sir? i think you can find yes sir yeah. so i am changing the slides so we couldn't see the next slide or anything we could see only the first slide no slides no sir uh, approaches devices that slide only we can use sir are you changing any slides sir yes yeah so far the slide has not changed okay so maybe how to rectify so now introduction yeah now is okay now symptoms. it is symptoms yes yeah. sir okay so okay so can i start from the previous one or from the first one sir if you could sir. possibly change it to slide show mode it will be visible sir okay sir, uh, i think now is for, okay. for that boy slide show is not possible Okay. Just to increase the size, sir. At the bottom, ninety-two percent is just there, no, sir. Okay. You just increase it to hundred percent each. Okay, I need to increase it to hundred percent each. Sir, now it is too much. Ah, okay. Is okay now? Or uh... yes, sir. Now it's okay, sir. No, no, it has gone down. Is it okay now? Yes, sir. Sir, uh, at the other end, I think there is a fit to page option. Ninety. Yes, sir. Is it okay now? Okay, sir. Sir, uh, you can increase itself, sir. That is itself better, actually. So from the introduction itself. No sir, you can go with the slides, sir. No problem. Wherever you have stopped, you can go with the slides. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, I mean, uh, this is the uh, uh, devices which are useful to identify the person's uh, temperature. First one is the infrared thermometer, and even in the train, and uh, this one is a simple single temperature reading. and the second one is the thermal camera so it's also available uh, i mean the the thermal camera in china so wherever we go in the in the public places like universities or the restaurant or uh, uh, <clears throat> the airport or the railway station wherever we go we can uh, they may have this uh, thermal camera to identify or to detect the the person's uh, temperature and uh, one more thing is uh, they have a table divider in canteen and a hotel so um, i think you can I, i think everyone can uh, visible this uh, uh, slide is it okay i think so uh, because um, uh, the divider is in uh, light color i think it's a uh, transparent so everyone can uh, see that uh, divider the table divider it's also very useful in the public places especially in the restaurants uh, and uh, the medical devices so in the medical devices the first one is the diagnostic desk, uh, test i mean uh, the swabs of uh, mucus from inside of a nose and uh, back of a throat blood taken from a uh, finger prick drawn by uh, uh, phlebotomist and ventilators and the second one is that it, it can control patient breathing by delivering a, a pre determined percentage of oxygen and the third one is the personal protective equipment i mean the surgical mask face shield and respirators gowns gloves 
so the personal protective equipment it can be act as a barrier between slide is not moving sir is it okay sir now we could see situation in numbers by who region that slide slide 4 okay. is showing is it okay now now we could see table divider yes okay slide number 12 yeah yes ma'am it's right so the it's a table divider in the in the public places and this one is a medical devices so the personal protective equipments can block the trans the transmission of a contaminants from blood and also the body fluids respi respiratory secretions it can protect from the infected persons and the next one important thing is the pulse oximeter so the pulse oximeter it's a device it just slips on a uh, finger and measures uh, oxygen levels in your uh, red blood cells so according to uh, the american lung association the oxygen saturation rate is at uh, 90 to 92 percentage it means it's a good one and 95 to 97 percentage is a healthy and uh, if it is only 75 percentage it's a loss consciousness and uh, one more important thing is that the lower amount of oxygen amount in the blood which can damage over the heart and brain so this uh, device is also very useful to measure the oxygen level in our blood and the uh, next one is the humidifier slide number 15 it's a humidifier so the it can add the moisture to our rooms air through the water mist so uh, and the ideal humidity is between uh, 30 to 50 percentage so it can also uh, useful to maintain the the room humidity and the test and uh, what are the test have been uh, uh, used to analyze uh, the covid-19 and the first one is the nucleic nucleic acid testing and the second one is the serology based testing but in the first uh, nucleic acid test uh, i think everyone can see that uh, slide number 16 slide number 16 yes sir yes sir, yeah. yes, sir. we can see sir yeah so the nucleic acid test they also identify i mean the university spin out company they have developed developed a one device named samba 2 device that device can complete the test within 2.6 hours and compared to the normal standard lab test like a, it will take around 26.4 hours to complete the same and uh, Uh, this device can search even the tiny traces of virus genetic code so even the even, even though the amount of um, uh, virus or the particle is very too less we can also easily identify uh, the virus and the accuracy is uh, accuracy percentage is 96.9 percentage and it can also replace a uh, um rt pcr only the samba 2 device is okay and we can get the result within uh, 2.6 hours so this machine is also very useful to identify the covid 19 very easily uh, and also we can consume the time and second one is the serology based test it's a, it's a common one and uh, the slide number 17 nationwide color based tracking system so in the nationwide color based tracking system uh, means uh, first i think uh, in china they have uh, the government asked the alibaba as we know well the alibaba and the tencent uh, these are the very big company uh, i mean the alibaba is like uh, amazon it's a um, uh, 
everyone will sell some product and, and so they have so many um, things. Um, they are doing so many business in uh, in China. So they asked the Alibaba and the Tencent company to develop the nationwide color based tracking system. And uh, uh, to, in order to monitor the peoples. So, so based on the colors, uh, they can uh, we can easily identify the persons and they have given uh, uh, different colors of uh, identity card. So the first one is a name and uh, second one is uh, whether they have the uh, the COVID-19 infection or not. It's a no. And the, the in the third one, it's a uh, it's address of the person. So in the color based code, they have given uh, three different colors. I mean, the first one is the uh, red one and the yellow one and the green one. So in the red one means if the uh, persons identified with the red code, they have to undergo at least a 14 day quarantine period. And they should also uh, go for the regular uh, uh, health checkup. And uh, second one is the second one is the yellow code. Yellow code is uh, uh, quarantined only for uh, one week. So within one week, they can also they can go anywhere else. And uh, the third one is the green code. The green code they can they are uh, free to move. Uh, from anywhere else. So luckily I got the, the green code. Thanks a lot. And uh, uh, another one uh, code is uh, scanning Yukong and uh, Suikong code. So these are the codes that will be displayed uh, in the public places, even in front of the uh, railway station or the um, uh, even the airport or the public places like um, even the schools the compound or the in other uh, government office of uh, office buildings wherever we go there will be this uh, they may have these two codes first one is the yukang and the suikang code so everyone should uh, register their name in the in online uh, by the software or by the app then after registration, they should uh, scan the code and they need uh, the the app will also send the the colors of the code. So if we get the the green color, you may allow to go inside or otherwise the person will uh, bring us to the hospital for the further screening. Yeah. And another one is uh, slide number 21. Chinese government, they also used the aerial drones. So using these drones, they they spread the disinfectant. Um, and also they have also given the uh, information how to use the spot uh, smartphones and also how to scan the QR codes. So initially they have uh, given the instruction in the public places. And uh, each and every street also they have uh, run this uh, aerial drones to give the to provide the information to the local peoples. And uh, also. The land based uh, robots. It's also uh, prevent the officers from uh, being present on the streets and also to avoid the transmission of the virus. And the fourth one is the detection system using uh, artificial intelligence. So this one is a very, uh, it's very popular now. And even in China too, uh, in Sejiang University, they have identified this uh, system uh, in China especially. So uh, in the detection system using artificial intelligence is a face mask detection system. It uses uh, existing IP cameras and also the CCTV cameras, which combined with the computer vision to detect people without a mask. So those who are uh, walk 
in the public places without the mask uh, the camera this system i mean the artificial intelligence system will identify the persons those who are uh, walk without the mask and also it's uh, very used to screen the fever with a touchless entry and uh, so in the first things i mean uh, they have given the app and we need to add your uh, existing camera and also um, uh, it will start to get the no mask data and alerts and if the person is walk on that side they uh, they will send the sms alerts to the admin and the violators so features i mean uh, the feature i mean it's a uh, slide number 23 features of uh, face mask detection system so the what are the features of this system is automatically sent alert so uh, there is no need to uh, uh, the i mean the manual uh, watching is no need it's automatic and the multi channel recognition it can uh, attach multiple cameras within a few seconds and uh, there is no more uh, no need uh, new hardware to install it can work with the uh, existing rtsp camera without installation of any cameras so where we can uh, use this especially in the airports hospitals and offices because uh, in these places and even in the public places also we can use this because in these places only there will be number of people will be there so it's uh, very useful to identify the persons so this is a network of intelligent camera ecosystem it's another one so as we know well the mask the wearing of mask and also maintain 6 feet distance is a must and uh, the artificial intelligent camera in a corner side that can trigger the alert as we know well but the network of uh, intelligent camera ecosystem alliance it can detect a lack of social distancing and unmasked individuals and fever so it can easily identify the persons it can easily work with the existing cameras it's only require the router instead of every camera in the previous one we need so many cameras but here we need only the software so it's a very easy and also it's very uh, economical one to identify the persons by using this network of uh, intelligent camera ecosystem so the in the regulation side gatherings not allowed there is no more persons should not uh, gather together i think uh, another one is that the temperature checking in uh, public places should be must and uh, everyone should wear the mask and the migration with uh, uh, prior permission with the local governments and after getting the test um, after getting the test of uh, corona covid 19 those who are not having the covid 19 they can migrate from one place to another place that will be better and the restrictions uh, to sell the liquor especially in south africa they restricted the uh, the liquid sale and uh, the slide numbers 26 quarantine measures and methods and uh, how they are identify the persons because uh, the government financially uh, reward to the citizen i mean uh, 1000 rmb is uh, today's rate is uh, maybe around 10, more than 10000 to 20000 uh, for reporting those who fail to follow the quarantine orders and another one is a severe lockdown in hubei province so no one 
can go inside and no one can come outside of Hubei province. And it's prohibited anyone to travel across the Hubei province and purchase the groceries for the food items. Only one person can go outside for each and every uh, for every three days to get their uh, food from the outside after check uh, after checking their body temperature in the entrance of the public buildings and the medicines purchaser also uh, whoever need to purchase the medicine in the in the shop in the medical shop they should also um, uh, they hold, they have to screen their temperature body temperature and also they have to provide their home address and also the identification number so as like our uh, other id as like our other id even in china they have uh, yeah is it okay now yes sir you can yeah. proceed sir. yeah okay thank you so uh, the persons should provide the home address and also the identification number the national id number and also the the pay number uh, the employees and also the volunteers i think they have to they visited the the volunteers they visited the residential areas they almost uh, checked each and every person's temperature body temperature and also those who travel to the travel to hubei province they got all the travel history from the uh, local authorities of the hubei province and other than china so first in uh, in south korea they used the cctv footage cell phone records credit card receipts of confirmed uh, covid-19 patients seat numbers in movie theaters also and the uh, restaurants they identify uh, the body temperature of the uh, persons and in singapore they also uh, <coughs> use so many websites and also the uh, so many things to identify the persons so in taiwan also they uh, especially the national health insurance administration and uh, national immigration agency they also track the 14 day travel histories of the citizens and also they monitor electronically through their uh, through their uh, mobile phones and uh, the fourth one is the traditional chinese medicines so in traditional chinese medicine as we know well in china they are also using the uh, the traditional chinese medicine as we know well it's uh, very popular since uh, more than um, 3000 years ago and also they have acupuncture and herbal medicines and qi chong pra uh, practices so <clears throat> so in the important uh, traditional chinese medicine they have uh, they have uh, so many uh, herbal formulations first one is a ching fei bai du decoction gan gao Kangjiang decoction, Shihan Mao Huang decoction, Qingfei Taoshi Fucheng recipe. So these herbal formulations are uh, available uh, in the uh, online, like um, especially as like our uh, Amazon. Uh, in China, the, we have uh, the the Taobao and the Tea Mall. Uh, so many online. Uh, web also available to purchase these uh, herbal formulations and what are the plant materials have been utilized to prepare the chingfei baido decoction so they have uh, they are using so many different plant materials so one is the important thing is the licorice root i mean the glycyrrhiza radix so it's uh, commonly used and the first one is the palisma orientalis azarum heterotropoides attractylodes uh, root belamtan 
Bellum Canter Kinensis, Bitter Apricot Seed, Publiorum, and Chinpea Citrus Fruit, Chinese Yam, Cinnamon Trick, Citrus Arantium Fruit, Ephytra Herb, Ginger Root, Gypsum, Licorice Root, Pachauli Reed Leaves, Pinellia Ternata, Polyporous Mushroom, Poria Mushroom, the purpose aster root or the tuber and the scluteria bicalensis root Tusilaco farfara flower so these herbal plants have been utilized to prepare the ching fai bio decoction and uh, it's a very uh, useful and uh, it's a highly recommended for the treatment of the covid-19 so as we know, well, the, the Cliceraceae clabra, it's a licorice root. It's also very commonly, it's available in India too, in the, in the, in the market, commercially available. In Tamil, it's called as Adimuduram. So it's a, it's a very important ingredient in the preparation of Jingfei Baido decoction. So they already have the, the systematic medicine and also have plenty of experience to to treat this kind of a pandemic disease as like a SARS in 2002. So they have a experience to handle this kind of a pandemic situations. And another one is a uh, important uh, herbal formula is uh, Massing Shihan in San. And the second one is the anti-malarial drug artemisinin. It's also very useful to control the COVID-19. And uh, so they have uh, uh, formed one uh, platform, and I mean it's it's a website. Actually, it's everyone is in uh, in Chinese. Uh, even though even I uh, I can also able, I cannot able to understand what is it, but I got it from the from my Chinese colleagues. Uh, I asked what it is. So. It's a uh, it's a database. They have given the database, and what are the um, uh, herbal formulations have been used to treat the COVID-19. So the TCM have recommended more than ten formulations, ten herbal formulations, and thirteen proprietary, uh, proprietary Chinese formulations in the form of uh, granules capsules, injections to treat the, the COVID-19 patients. And uh, so what are the benefits of uh, the TCM? And the benefits is uh, it, is it can shorten the symptom period by an average of uh, two days. Recovery of a body temperature shortened by 1.7 days and shorten the length of a stay in hospital by 2.2 days. CT scan improvements increased by 22%. Clinical cure rate also increased by 33%. Reduction of severe cases to common cases by 27%. And immune system marker lymphocyte also in, increased by 70% by using this TCM medicines. And uh, what are the general uh, herbal species have been utilized uh, more than uh, in more than five herbal formulations? First one is some Cliceraceae species, as as I told you earlier, it's a uh, Adimadram in Tamil. And second one is the Magnolia officinalis, and uh, third one is the Scutellaria bicolensis, Epitra species, Armeniaca. Attractive loads, macrocephala, forsythia suspensa, pogostum, and cablin. So these herbal species have been utilized uh, to prepare uh, in, uh, in several uh, herbal formulations. So other important natural compounds, I think the bicalin, uh, scutellarin, hesperitin, nicotinamine, and glyceracin, um, uh, so many uh, Chinese herbal medicines have been isolated from the from so many herbal 
plant materials they al they already isolated for the sars virus uh, even in uh, 2003 and 2000 2004 itself they have uh, uh, they have uh, so many experience where it is and they have uh, they have that knowledge and uh, four extracts especially uh, the licorice radiator and pyrosia linkua the pyrosia linkua is a fern material and the artemisia anua and lintera aggregate so these uh, plant materials uh, extract have been utilized to treat the sars covid and uh, another important thing is the lonisera japonica astragalus membranaceus and glycerisa uralensis attracti loads macrocephala scrotularia bicalensis angelica sinensis panax quinquin um, uh, folius and skysandra kinensis and panax quin quinquifolius sibosium pyromets the sibosium pyromets is also a fern material and uh, how the peoples are managing their daily expenses during the lockdown period in china so in china there is no daily wages uh, everyone getting the monthly salary so the government or the even the the private sector companies also they will form a small small uh, projects so in the project they will hire the laborers and they will give the salary only in the monthly monthly wise not the daily wages and every citizens of china they have a insurance they have a basic insurance policy so during this time they can utilize that opportunity that money also so medicines so what are the medicines uh, we can uh, use the first one first option is a vaccine it will take uh, around a year and the uh, i mean the harvesting the antibodies uh, from the blood plasma of uh, people who have been infected and uh, the hydroxychloroquine quinine compound from chinchona tree and hydroxychloroquine from the uh, it, it's already but it's it's a toxic uh, uh, component and in the research of uh, covid-19 where we are now so at present we have a, we have some antiviral uh, drugs such as uh, remdesivir and calatra the calatra is the combination of uh, two different uh, drug first one is the uh, lobinavir and the second one is the ritonavir so they combined it together to form the calatra and the favipiravir it's also another one uh, antiviral drug and uh, the fourth one is the arbidol and the fifth one is a uh, hydroxychloroquine and sixth one is the uh, chloroquine so these are all the antiviral drugs to treat against the to treat against the covid-19 and the monoclonal antibodies so in the monoclonal antibodies vir biotechnology company it's a company they have isolated the antibodies from people who survived with the sars in china so they they are working with the chinese firm uzi biologics and second company is accelera they have isolated 500 unique antibodies from the person who recovered from covid-19 so these two companies only isolated the monoclonal antibodies and the third one is the blood plasma transfer so for that blood plasma transfer it's successfully uh, completed in a new york blood center and the second one is the houston methodist hospital in texas and another one is important thing is the stem cells so the, the stem cells have been uh, begin by the atherosis inc company 
they started the uh, the they are in uh, the base 2 and base 3 clinical trials and immune suppressants so the immune suppressants they are using the baricitinib it's a rheumatoid uh, arthritis a drug and the cm uh, 4620 uh, ie it's also the pancreatic drug and the third one is the interleukin 6 inhibitors so these are the immune suppressants have been utilized and uh, the last one is the vaccines and what are the vaccines um, but it's not in the in the final stage everyone in the in the base 1 or the base 2 3 stages only so the first uh, um vaccine is the moderna the moderna vaccine is the messenger rna vaccine it's at a base 1 clinical trial in seattle west washington and they started uh, their uh, they will start their base 2 stage in uh, july and the second vaccine is the inovio they are also preparing to start base 2 and 3 and the third vaccine it's uh, developing by the university of oxford in england they will provide uh, more than 30 million doses in uh, during the september uh, month and the fourth one is the uh, university of queensland in australia so they are uh, they started their uh, pre clinical stage and the fifth one is the pharmaceutical companies already the the John, johnson and johnson and sanofi uh, pharmaceutical company were uh, began their uh, human test in usa uh, in um, early may so in conclusion so what are the uh, the initial steps uh, what are the things has to be taken first the first one is uh, the temporary registration of a residence certificate because uh, uh, even in india too we have uh, the ration card the family card in uh, one city but the person will stay or work in another city uh, so without inform to the local authority they will move easily from one city to another city but in china they have a temporary residence registration of residence certificate in wherever we go we need to register our uh, temporary registration in the local authority and also we should uh, record our uh, travel history of the passengers and uh, second one is uh, infrared thermometer and useful databases that has to be introduced to detect the infected persons and uh, third one is the effective herbal based formulation has to be discovered and, or, and uh, we have a uh, plenty of uh, ancient literature we need to recover or restore so many herbal formulations uh, from the ancient literatures and the final one is the we need to isolate the plant based bioactive components and also effective vaccines has to be identified thank you thank you so much thank you sir yeah. so the session is open for discussion right now participants if you have any questions you can raise your hands or you can unmute your mic and then ask the expert so thank you for sharing your experience with yeah. covid and uh, the t- uh, tips that you have given thank you ma'am hello yeah are you hearing yeah. me yeah yeah, yeah. tell me uh, it is no wonder that glycerizer glabran is uh, having such an activity because in our uh, indian medicine also we are using glycerizer glabra for uh, child rearing from that stage itself from three months onwards okay 
So, um, do you think that Lysereza Glabra is playing a major role in the COVID, uh, um, I mean, uh, pandemic uh, revival? Yeah, yes, ma'am. Yes. Yeah. So, in what That's form true. they are uh, utilizing it? Actually, they are isolated, uh, isolating the components. I mean, in the class rising, or okay. uh, sometimes they are uh, isolating the extracts of the plant material. Okay. Lies like uh, the polyherbal formulations. Oh. Yeah. Because in our system, we used to have a powder of powdered. Uh, uh, I mean. Uh, Glyceraser glabra will be powdered and used as a medic medicinal, uh, I mean, substitute. Uh, so it's extract is better. I mean, uh, they are isolating the extract and uh, they are uh, formulating as like a, the herbal drink. Mm -hmm. They are formulating as a herbal drink. That's very okay. important. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you. Hello. Yeah, thank you. Sir. Yes, sir. Ha. Hello. Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, tell me. Sir, sir, may I uh, ask a question about uh, COVID-19? Sir, uh, uh, in COVID-19 virus, what is the antigenic uh, part? Uh, it's uh, uh, protein part or it's uh, uh, lipid part or whole virus by which uh, I have uh, an idea about uh, if we uh, extract that uh, antigenic part and insert in uh, minute amount in human body then it evoke um, uh, 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 our immunity uh, by which we can protect ourselves by this virus it's my uh, assumption Please uh, uh, tell me about, sir. Uh, can you uh, repeat your question clearly? Yes, sir, uh, yeah. uh, I want to ask that uh, what is the antigenic part of COVID-19? Whole virus or protein part, capsid, or it's envelope uh, lipid? I don't know the exact. Oh, okay, I mean, okay. uh, yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah, thank you. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Hello, sir. Yeah, tell me, sir. Yeah, sir, uh, we have heard that this virus, all the virus attacks in waves. They, they spread in waves uh, after some time period. So uh, we have recently seen that the second wave have already hit uh, Beijing, China. Yes, sir. So, uh, how how uh, how can this be interpreted for other parts of the world, sir? I think uh, means how far we are, uh, how close we are for about hitting the second wave in India and uh, other parts of the world. Yeah, because if the persons are having the tiny particles that particles can be replicate. I mean the virus particle that can uh, replicate and they can uh, multiply themselves. So when uh, the uh, once it's multi replicated, so then only it will uh, uh, ex expose their uh, symptoms. So in the first wave, I think um, after the uh, now only we are uh, screening the the second waves. I mean, uh, uh, in the first time they because there is no more. Uh, um, uh, I mean the <clears throat> the solid vaccine or any very good uh, drug. There is a, there is no hundred percentage drug or the vaccine to treat the COVID nineteen. So that's why uh, there is a problem in the second wave. Uh, sir, I have one more question, sir, regarding this. Yeah. Yeah, sir. Uh, through studies, we have uh, also learned that the coronavirus can mutate very fast. Other coronaviruses also. 
in this family yeah so yes, sir, yeah they can with yes, the second can. wave yeah with the second wave how how could could it be more lethal than this present one or it can just vanish up like uh, sars in the us i mean it, it can uh, mutate very easily from place to place that's a problem yeah so so like that we have heard that uh, sars virus uh, automatically got vanished so uh, the vaccine uh, conditions were like we don't need any vaccines for vaccine production has been stopped against virus uh, against sars so uh, are we heading in the right direction of uh, creating a vaccine or just by protecting ourselves through social distancing would be more necessary actually at present uh, we have the only option is a social distance yes sir the first option uh, we have uh, at present we have the option the only one option is a uh, social distance and we are everyone of us uh, we are waiting for the vaccine maybe uh, in september i think uh, september we can get it i think so okay well, thank you sir hello is there any other question hello yes, yes ma'am you can ask good afternoon sir yeah good afternoon ma'am uh, sir i would like to know uh, what lessons could learn india from china in containing this covid 19 from india or from china from Who china sir what, what from... lesson india could learn uh, from the china to contain this covid 19 because i think you have a detailed study and experience Okay. Uh, regarding china okay so um, uh, actually my first visit in china on uh, 2010 for the international conference that's my first experience then i came here on uh, 2014 again for my post doc so uh, the first thing is uh, most of the persons are uh, uh i mean the china have uh, they have a plenty of uh, softwares i mean the app so so many persons they have uh, knowledge how to use the app during this uh, pandemic or epidemic uh, disease time and also uh here uh i think to start a company is very easy there is no more problem even uh, if you uh, um, i mean after the covid 19 everyone need the especially the, the all over the world every person need the mask so in china they have a manufacturing so many manufacturing company for the mask making machines so immediately everyone got the machines and they produced a large amount of uh, mask and they they export to the rest of the world and uh, uh, another one important thing is the every peoples every uh, chinese have a insurance they have a insurance but in our country even me also i am also a indian as you know well even me also i don't have a insurance policy so after this uh, visit i decided okay we need the the insurance policy we need that kind of uh, things uh, in order to fight against the future uh, things we don't know what will happen and uh, here there is a huge number of competition in china because uh, the so many people are here and and the government also supporting uh for the publishing the paper and especially wherever we go uh wherever we apply for the project every scientist should have the sca papers only not to the the paid journals they ask only the sca journals publications and they ask the the government asking the the, the professors only publish or to 
record the patents towards the patents so based on that one only they are uh, the scientific peoples are moving towards the, the project to identify the vaccine or uh, some other things so as we know well um, uh, the us go the us government only i think the the us the scientific world only they published so many scientific papers previously but at present i think uh, china uh, they have beated the us on publication in china they the scientific people of china they published so many papers the i mean the the scientific publications in the sea journals and uh, getting the bank loan or uh, uh, to start the new companies or uh, business here it's very easy it's uh, there is no more uh, uh trouble there is no more trouble to start the new companies whatever it may be it may be a software company or it may be the uh the herbal plant uh, cultivation company uh, and even the ornamental plant company also they have uh, plenty of companies so they have uh, so many options to uh to manage the people's economy so these kinds of things has to be and also the immediate action by the uh, i mean the the chinese governments so they have a interlinking i think uh, they have a network they have a quick network the first initial thing was um, i mean uh, from wuhan whenever that uh, virus was identified in wuhan uh, city the local Uh, hospital first they don't know what it is so they so that is the first uh, uh, a small mistake but uh, it may be the big mistake but it is a mistake and i think by the doctors or by the local authority they have been informed to the central government if they passed this message to the central government they can easily get the uh, uh, immediate action against the covid-19 even in uh, october or uh, december itself but uh, later only they reported to the central government because the, the china government is uh, very big um, i think they have uh, so many uh, populations so that's why there is a, a small small uh, litigation to manage the uh, administration but in india we have uh, to 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 make a network with the local authorities we need to make a network between the central with the state and also the local even with the uh, rural parts also we need that uh, network that is the first thing yes ma'am okay thank you sir uh, you uh, as you answered my question uh, i asked regarding what lesson we could learn from uh, china regarding covid 19 yeah. but when you but when you answered this question you wonderfully gave a hint about the res- uh, research also in china how start uh, how company and startup and the research is different the procedure uh, is so yeah. easy and the publication is very good uh, quality in uh, china so sir, my another question is that i uh, you know uh, regarding the little knowledge i have that in china uh, it is not necessary to present paper or publish paper in english they are very uh, you know uh, they give very respect to their language and they are very uh, you know no need to you know you know focus more on english in india also we have so many diversity yeah. regarding the languages we don't have the single language but yeah. uh, in india i have seen uh, mostly uh, they are very good in their language but when they have to publish it in english because yeah. the requirement by the journal is english yeah. so somehow they you know feel very hesitant about this so i think this is the uh, one reason that they are not original in their uh, their work even i have seen in this uh, you know in this uh, virtual research course also mostly uh, the participant they are re- really genius and intelligent but when often they uh, you know wanted to ask some question they are really hesitant uh, because they have to ask it in english so sir uh, could you please uh, throw some light on it in, i mean the first thing is 
the chinese person if they don't know frankly they will say no i don't know okay if any if they want to ask again they will uh, ask it a very simply okay i need a, can you repeat it again sorry pardon they will ask it like this but uh, in our country i think they will say they will hesitate to uh, expose their uh, opinion uh, whether i understand or not they will not uh, give the so that is another one thing and uh, they will not bother about the language the language is not a barrier here they will focus only on uh, research what we can do it they will not bother about the language okay. the language is just only for the uh, communication so so mostly they will uh, Uh, focus on the research objective only because for the publications and uh, even if we need if they want to publish a paper they will write in a uh, in chinese first and they will give it to the tra- i mean the translation company so they will do the that work so the scientific peoples they will not do the translation work first so they are mostly they are uh, focusing on the research aspect only not the translation purpose or the any other grammatical things they will not bother about it okay and another one thing is the government is also uh, spending lot and lot of money for the publication aspect if one person uh, if one professor publish uh, a paper Uh, more than 5 impact factor or the 10 impact factor uh, here they have the uh, code i mean the uh, publication thing is a q1 a q1 level q2 level q3 level so it's a level of the publication i mean the quality of the journal so they have that uh, so many different levels there so based on that category if the professor published a paper in q1 category journal uh, he can get a lot of money from the uh, government as a reward for their extra work but in our country there is no reward extra reward for the extra work everyone every each and every salary is same but here is not like that if we work more we can the professor can get more okay thank you sir thank you so much thank you sir yeah thank you uh, is there any other question from the participants i think there is no question sir no more question okay as uh, sir we can close the session sir thank you so much for being with us and uh, enriching with the uh, enriching us with the knowledge of what you have in the covid management in china thank you sir thank you so much for your expertise in sharing thank you for uh, for giving the opportunity to present my topic in the public uh, platform thank you so much and thanks for uh, each and every one of the participants thank you so much yeah हेलो मैथिली मैम यस हेलो मैम यस्टरडे आई हैव सीन द यू नो लिस्ट ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन एड्रेस ऑफ द पार्टिसिपेंट्स सो 